Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are at Swan Island Dahlias. I told you guys I'd be bringing you on a special trip and here we are. Uh, for those of you who entered our Dahlia giveaway, this is where your tubers came from. Um, now we are here and they have 40 acres of Dahlias, which is absolutely incredible. I am so excited to show you guys this place. So I'm gonna get behind the camera. We're just gonna pan over and bring you guys by and show you guys all of their beautiful flowers. And then we're also gonna take a quick little tour of their display garden. So. Anyways, here we go. All right guys, right off the bat, I am going to be adding this one to my collection next year. This is called Cheers, and I noticed right away how the stems are really long, so I think these would be perfect for uh, cut arrangements. And they're just like the perfect size. They're kind of peachy on the outside, yellow on the inside, and the center is kind of pink. So I'm thinking as they age, they probably get a little bit lighter and more orangey. But isn't this just a beautiful, beautiful dahlia? And it's tall, I mean, I think I'm about five foot four. These look like they're like, I don't know, what do you think? Like five foot seven? They're tall, they're super tall. Um, but anyways, I wanted to just show you guys a close up of this beautiful um, variety here, which I'm just making a little mental note to add this one to our purchase. So you can tell that they actually don't stake up their dahlias. They plant them pretty close together. So they use each other kind of as an anchor. Um, so in case you're wondering like where are all the stakes, they actually don't have to um, because of the way that they plant them. But just look at this beautiful view. Like I can't handle it. It's so gorgeous. I just photographed the cutest little couple over here. Oh. This place is just like pure magic. There's magic everywhere you look, not just the flowers, but the people smiling and like the couples here, the kids running around. It's just such a beautiful place to hang out. But anyways, let's get back to some of these dahlias. Look at this one right here. I mean, the color of it is just gorgeous. Look at this Mai Tai one. It kind of has this like red outline on the petals. Isn't this just so pretty? Love this one. Look at this beautiful orange one. This is a Swan's Olympic flame. And this whole patch, like just these few rows here is just like a, a peach or a, what are those called? The dreamsicle? I don't know, but those, those popsicles that are peachy and orange, this just reminds me of them. Look at how pretty, like all of your peach dreams. And look, one of my favorite new ones, the jitterbug. Oh my goodness, I love this Dahlia so much. It's so cute. I love the name. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, so pretty. And look at this one, Andy's Legacy. Let's see if I can get a closer look. Look at this. Isn't that so pretty? And look at the back. Like the back of it's gorgeous. The front of it's gorgeous. It looks like it's a smaller variety too. 
So just keep this one in mind for next year if you're looking for one that has pretty big blooms, doesn't get too tall, um, and has this beautiful, beautiful sunset kind of hue to them. So pretty. Oh, I just want to be here all day, you guys. It's so gorgeous out here. And what's great about coming here is that they also put the numbers on each plaque so you can look at their catalog and refer to the number when you're ordering your tubers. But check out this tartan one. Look at this. Isn't that so gorgeous? Look at the white just coming through some of the older petals. So, so pretty. You guys, check out this mango madness. Look at the size of this thing. Like, there's my hand, there's the bloom. Holy cow, so beautiful. Look at that color, oh, perfection. So we actually have this Hulans Carnival and ours is blooming more like this um, shade here where it's more white, less of the purple, where some of them are blooming all white and some of them are actually blooming a little bit darker with more purple speckles. And look at this one. This one's fully dark. How cool is that? This is another one that we have that isn't blooming yet, but look at it. Oh, isn't this so pretty? And again, I know I keep saying, look at how beautiful, look at how pretty, but I just don't know what else to say to you guys. I mean, it's just so magical here. You, you just have to come. You have to make your way out here. It's just absolutely stunning.
Okay, who wants to do the hokey pokey right now? Like, I'm looking at the name, and then I come and I see this Dahlia right here, and it just makes me wanna dance. <laughs> Can you imagine living here? Like, it'd be heaven. Like, you would have literally nothing to ever worry about, or complain about, or be sad about. Like, this was your view every morning. Thank you.
All right, guys, so this is the gift shop and they actually have some awesome gifts in there. So if you're here, make sure you stop on by and check out what they have. Um, right over here is where we have the display garden, which we'll walk to in just a minute. And if you wanna get fresh cut flowers, you can. They have a little stand over there with beautiful flowers uh, and little arrangements already made, but it's just a really fun place to come. You know, of course, enjoy this gorgeous view and have a picnic, their seating area. Um, so it's just a really fun place to come hang out. So like I said, if you're in the area, make sure you come on by. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's tour. I hope you guys enjoyed walking around with me today and seeing what this beautiful farm has to offer. Uh, I will link down their information down below. So if you wanna order more tubers or learn more about them, uh, then just look down below in the description box. Or if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.